Jeff Keenan here. I'm gonna show you how to use your Canon T3i as a webcam on your Mac. So yesterday, Canon released the Mac webcam USB driver for many of its cameras. Now, if you look at the link I'm gonna put below, you'll see that the oldest uh, camera is the T6i. Um, choose that driver when you install it on the Mac. Choose the T6i, it'll work with the T3i. Um, <clears throat> I've tried it with a bunch of different uh, apps. It works with Skype and Zoom, which is good. On my Mac, which is a 2010 MacBook Air, pretty old, um, I was not able to get it to work with FaceTime. It showed up under the FaceTime as an external camera, but it would not connect to it. It stayed on the, stayed on the built-in iSight camera. Um, but Zoom, Skype worked great. I was even able to blur with Skype uh, using the Canon and also um, the built-in uh, photo app worked. Uh, I wasn't able to get iMovie on the Mac to connect, but it would connect and download uh, videos. It wouldn't use the T3i as a video source. So for video conferencing, it's good news. Um, basically a free high quality webcam for Macs now. Now you're gonna wanna do a couple things with your camera. You're gonna wanna set the top to video you want to turn it on and then you also want to set the auto shut off timer to off so you don't want this thing shutting off because uh, it may f trick you into thinking it's not working um, so you got to make sure the auto shut off stays on another thing you're going to want is this usb power cable um, that will power the t3i and other canon cameras so basically it just inserts into the battery door and you plug this into a USB power source, not a computer. I have a, I have a um, high quality uh, USB power source. I think it's 45 watts. I'll put a link to that down below also. And I'll put a link to this uh, adapter that you can buy really cheaply on Amazon. And this will keep your camera powered up 24 seven. The camera actually shuts down if it's not being used as a webcam. Um, and then as soon as you open an application, that references it, it'll open up, you'll see a delay with like a Canon EOS message and then within a few seconds, you hear the camera shutter click and you'll get your video. So again, I'll put a link below to the new Canon driver site and remember to like and subscribe for more help with Wi-Fi and tech products.